I want you to always think about being creative. I would send companies a pizza and I would remove a piece and write Andy Elliott is the missing piece and then my phone number. I'd send it to their business. Do you know 100% of those customers always followed up with me? All right guys, the fortune is in the follow-up in this video. I'm gonna show you some techniques that are gonna make you dangerous. Let's go. Most salespeople only follow up two to three touches. I want you to know that a lot of the times it could take six to 12 touches. So don't be one of these salespeople that do a lot of the work or the business spends a lot of money to get these people in and you're not dangerous with your follow-up. The person that is at home, sitting there going through their hot list, making sure that they're following up, sending the text messages and doing what I've got in these strategies, that person's always gonna win. The person that's working their CRM and actually thinking about building a sustainable business, which you're not gonna close everybody so you're gonna have to get really creative in follow-up will always win hey it's the Macklin twins thanks for watching the video listen if you want our free word track guide 52 word tracks will teach you how to dominate sales just text 480-780-2203 it'll teach you how to dominate let's get back to the video text us let's go I'm gonna introduce you to a few tactics that I've used to do follow up and win and create millions of dollars in revenue. I want you to always think about being creative. So number one, in closing business to business, I would send companies a pizza from Andy Elliott and I would remove a piece. You know, I call a, a company in Delaware and I call the local pizza shop. Ring, ring, ring. I'd be like, hey, I need a pizza. I need to send it to this business. Will you remove a piece and write Andy Elliott is the missing piece and then my phone number. I'd send it to their business. Do you know 100% of those customers always followed up with me. Most of them went cold. They wouldn't follow back up. And then when I sent them that pizza, they're like, oh my God, this is amazing. Like, this is crazy. Like, this guy is truly phenomenal. So if you had a cold customer, your job is to get them back re-engaged. A lot of the times that ain't gonna happen through just a regular phone call. Send them a pizza, remove a piece, you know, tell them that it's gonna solve a problem. If they got that creativity from you, they're gonna feel this thing called reciprocity. When you give them something, they're gonna feel like they owe you something. Think creatively. Don't just like think, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna call them back every three times a day. It's probably not gonna work. Number two, in business to business, leaders go cold on the phone. In the, in the business world, things happen. Maybe it's not the right time, whatever. We bought these Nokia cell phones on Amazon Prime. Hundreds of nostalgic Nokia cell phones, right? We would tape a piece of paper on them and then we would write, sending you a phone, since obviously your phone has not been working, give me a call, seven and my phone number and they'd be like what is this oh my god that's so creative listen I'm trying to take my customer soul I'm trying to have them thinking like man this guy's different this guy's so creative like I want to hire this guy if you're not getting job opportunities every day then you ain't doing things that are special remember we want to be different so that we can get paid different you're gonna have to do extraordinary things to get extraordinary paychecks not average things to get average paychecks and then I want you to think about like number three when you're with a customer if you're not sending them a video every time you get done at the dealership with them or whatever business you're in let's say you just left my place of business what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send you a video and I'm gonna say hey guys I just wanted to send you this video number one I wasn't having the best day ever um, but when I got around you guys you guys had this really special energy your family was amazing hey just want to tell you thank you just want to tell you thank you for that you really changed my day man you're an amazing family now listen I, I, I do a compliment that's authentic to them I don't if they didn't have special energy I'm not gonna say that you know I could say something different but I'm gonna do a video specific and special to them and thank them for coming in. Now listen, most salespeople aren't even gonna do that. So that salesperson, that customer's gonna go right down the street to a different lot. They're gonna experience Skippy the Punk. I want them to be thinking, God, that guy is really amazing. Like that guy is different than everybody else. If I, if I was talking to you and you were telling me that you were interested in a couple of things and I'm like talking to you and you're like, yeah, man, I watch David Goggins too or something. I get more creative than people. I would listen to them, understand them. I'd go back and find an old YouTube video of David Goggins. I'd text it over to him. I'd be like, dude, have you ever seen this video? Check it out. Maybe a day or to later just to re-engage them not like in just a sales way just sending them something that gets them to text me back and gets them thinking that I'm thinking of them without trying to sell them okay everybody wants to buy but nobody wants to be sold so my goal is to build a better relationship with them to be aware if I heard them say something or they're going home and they're like oh we got to get home and cook dinner blah 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 you know I'm like okay so they're going home to eat dinner right now I would send customers a crumble cookie from uber eat I got this video the other day of these kids, I sent them a crumble cookie and their, da their dad's bringing the crumble cookie over and he's recording and the kids are like, oh my gosh! And they're going wild, right? 
The dad texts me, he was so excited. He's like, man, let's do this, dude. You're like, you're, you're, you're so different than everybody else. Like, this is crazy. Like, let's do this deal. Listen, my goal is not always to get something out of it. You gotta adjust your intent. My goal is to really impress them. Make, make them see that I'm different. Make them see that I got something that nobody else has. And a lot of people say they're different, but they're not really different. So if you really wanna be different, act different, perform different. It'll create a self-belief in you because you start to believe in you because you know your competition isn't doing these things, okay? Think different. Use one of those ideas. Ideas. Do something a little bit different for your customers and those are on unsold customers, okay? I want to transfer over to sold customers. When you sell a customer, that's mostly where amateurs stop. Ah, I got a commission. Ah, la, la, la. Who cares about your commission, man? Most salespeople are just in it for the daily commission. The pros are in it for the friend and the fortune. The friend equals the fortune. So the next day, I'm gonna send them a present. Maybe it's a little gift box. It has a shirt, it has something for them to scan to be a part of my Facebook group. Maybe it's gonna have, you know, like a protein shaker in it and it has my logo on it. You can do whatever you want, but have something to send to your sold customer so you can stay in front of them. It's gonna be how you get a referral. The best thing that you can ever get is a referral, but most people don't stay top of mind to people, so they never really truly get it. Number two, you should be on Facebook with all your customers. Why? Because they should be seeing you do business every day and doing life every day so that they never forget you. And that's part of your sold follow-up because they're seeing you every day and you're commenting on their stuff. And if you put them on your top 100 list, which is I've showed you that in other videos, you should check in with your top 100 clients. You can manage 100 relationships, the ones that you really love. If you see them on Facebook and you know their, your son just went to Duke University, like my customer did, I'm just gonna send them a quick message. Hey man, love seeing your kid going to Duke University. You're a phenomenal dad. Keep it up, man. Listen, I did this in the car business, man. Do you think other car salespeople were doing this? Following up with them about their son going to Duke? Nah, man, they just sold him a RAV4 and they're done with them, man. I was doing all of these things. That's why I got paid at the top, 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 top of this industry. So think about that. Work your top 100 list. Be sending them some things. Be looking to add value to their lives. And then next, man, you know, have a referral gift card for your customers. What does that mean? If I send my customer something and it says, hey, this is a $500 gift card that you can give to any of your friends. It has to be used with me and I write them a letter so they understand. You can give this to anybody and it's for their services. They're gonna go over, give it to Sally. Sally's gonna call me because she needs my services and I'm gonna obtain a client. Now, I'm not telling you to run out and give 500 on every customer. It could be 50 bucks, it could be 100. I don't know what your service is. It could be anything. You know, in the car business, I'd give them that and I'd say, hey, here's a thousand dollars on any of your customer. Your, like, there's, there's four gift cards here. You can use these four only in this quarter. Q1, this is four gift cards for $1,000 to give to you guys on any trade. They'd go give them to somebody, that customer would be like, hey, I got this extra thousand bucks on my trade and I'd get four referrals from them. Think different, people. The fortune is in the follow-up. And in order to do really effective follow-up, you gotta be different than everybody else. Shoot them some really creative messages, some creative memes, have fun with them. Make it a great business. If you can do these things at such a high level, you'll be like me. Man, I created such a really cool business that people were just coming to me every day. Like, I didn't wanna take ups. I didn't wanna go take brand new customers. I just wanted to service my own customers. And you can do that, but you're gonna have to do different things to create experiences in people that they never forget. And if you can do that at a high level, shoot, man, you're gonna be totally different and you're gonna have a totally different life than everybody else. If you ever need me, you can text me on my cell phone, 480-780-2203. Please like, comment, share this video to somebody that needs to learn how to follow up even better, that needs some of that creativity in their life. So just be better than we were yesterday. And if you can take two of these things, you'll be better than you were yesterday and you'll truly become who you're trying to be. Thank you guys.